I don't see OpenAI being worth $300 billion. And you have to remember that venture capitalists have to like 10x to be happy or whatever. Like, I don't see them, you know, IPOing at $3 trillion. I just don't. No, it's interesting because I almost see the OpenAI valuation as the one that makes the most sense because they have a consumer app. If what you're saying is correct, that we're not going to see any more, if we're seeing real diminishing results from scaling, and this is basically yeah. where we are, then there's real worry for companies like NVIDIA, which has basically risen on the idea of scaling. I mean, they're down a third, uh, a third this they're year still or something two like point that. something, 2.5 trillion last they're year. They're a looked. genuinely good company company they have a wonderful ecosystem they're worth a lot of money i mean i don't i don't want to put in an exact figure but i'm not surprised that they fell and i'm not surprised that they're still worth a lot no but this is a thing if we end up seeing the fact that this next iteration the 10 billion dollars that sam is going to spend seemingly on the next set of gpus uh if that doesn't produce serious results that's going to hurt NVIDIA. that will cause a crash in nvidia because it so might. much of the company's demand is coming based off of this idea that scaling is going to work so they have multiple problems both right. open ai and nvidia so one is it does look to me like we're hitting diminishing returns it does not look to me like this inference time compute trick is really a general solution it doesn't look like hallucinations are going away and it does look like everybody has the same magic formula so everybody is basically doing the same thing they're building bigger and bigger llms and what happens when everybody's doing the same thing you get a price war so deep came out and open ai dropped its prices quite a bit 